Hey everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to watch YouTube or any streaming service on your car's multimedia system. But please note that it's recommended to use it only when the car is parked. Remember, safety first. Alright, let's begin with the tutorial. In this video, we will be using an app called CarTube, designed specifically for YouTube videos, but it will also work with other apps. As you can see, here is the app. Firstly, we need to connect to our car via Bluetooth or by wire, depending on your car, of course. Once you are connected, all you need to do is log in with your YouTube account, though it is not necessary if you don't want to provide that info. As you can see, this is the beta version of the app, and there might be some glitches, but they should be fixed in the newest update. Now, this also works on the newest iOS versions. Just take a look, and you can clearly see that my iOS is up to date. I should remind you that you don't need to do any special stuff like jailbreaking or sideloading to use this app on your device. Just follow this tutorial. It's really easy. Okay, before we can proceed, we need to change some settings on your phone. Firstly, go to Settings, then Battery, and disable Low Power Mode. This feature slows down the device, which we don't want. Next, go to General, and then Background App Refresh. Here, you need to enable it for both Wi-Fi and mobile data. This will ensure that the app continues working in the background. Now, those are all the settings we need to change. We can move on to the next step. What you need to do next is open up your internet browser, in my case it will be Safari, and go to the website called lucidapk.com. Lucidapk.com is a website where you can find many modded apps and games with amazing features. Once you are on the website, search for CarTube and click on it. Here you will see some information about the app. To start the download, click on the blue download button and wait some time for the installation to finish. However, there is one more step that you need to complete before you can finish the installation. This step may vary depending on your device model and operating system and usually involves some pretty simple steps. Don't worry, this step is very easy and quick and there will be a video tutorial on how to complete it. Just follow the instructions and you should be fine. Once you complete it, you will have the app on your device. So, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.